This is a one-inch belt sander from Harbor Freight. I bought this probably five or six years ago. It was on sale for $59, but I never used it that much until about nine months ago. And I saw something that I thought, you know, this would work perfectly. And since that time, I've used it extensively. So in this video, let me show you a few of the ways that I'm using it in my shop. This is a dolphin that I cut out of mild steel using the plasma cutter. I didn't do a very good job cutting this, as you can see by this curve. But I can fix that with the belt sander. One advantage the belt sander has over the handheld sander is that it leaves both hands free to move the work. Here I'm using an 80 grid belt and it's quick and effective in rounding out this curve. This is 20 gauge red brass. I'm using an almost new pair of Wiss aviation snips. And this is hard cutting. And I find it difficult to make smooth cuts in this heavy of material, especially when the leaf curves in. Now actually, this is better than I usually do. But there are still some points where the contours could use smoothing. And this will end up being a pendant, so any flaws will be noticeable. When using this heavy of material, I often have to do reshaping. This unit has a disc sander. I don't use this as much as the belt sander. It comes with a protractor for feeding the material through evenly. It's been useful when wanting to put a side angle on a flat sheet of metal. Not all of these belt sanders come with a disc sander, so I'd suggest shopping around. I've also used this for kayak paddles. It makes it quite easy to shape the ends of the paddle blades. Stainless steel is a tough material to cut with hand shears, but defects can be removed with the belt sander. And this is a mild steel disc I'm using for kayak stands. And these all have a burr on the back side, which needs to be removed. Here's a piece of some half copper tubing that I'm experimenting with. I'm shaping and removing the burrs. Sanding copper, the copper can get too hot to hold. And here I'm using a pair of leather work gloves. One inch by 30 inch belts are available from many online sources. I'm using 80 grit. In some places list the grit numbers and others just offer fine, medium and coarse. Safety glasses and hearing protection. This is a must. This is a small unit, but it is quite loud. 